A Florida man attacked an ATM for a very strange reason. It gave him too much money. Florida man is arrested after deputies say he rigged the door to his home in an attempt to electrocute his pregnant wife. Police arrested an Orlando man for attacking a flamingo. It's the breakfast club, bitches. Donkey of the day. With Charlemagne the God. I don't know why y'all keep letting him get y'all like this. Yes, donkey of the day for Thursday, October 25th goes to two young ladies from the great state of Florida. Uh, you know Florida. I was watching Andrew Gillum last night during the debate for Florida's governor race, and I said to myself, damn, I wish I was a resident of Florida so I could vote for Andrew Gillum. And then soon after I saw this story, I said to myself, hell no, nope, I don't ever want to be a resident of Florida. I'll just be happy visiting, okay? Uh, what does your Uncle Charlotte always say? The craziest people in all of America come from the Bronx and all of Florida. It's literally like every day people in Florida are raising the bar when it comes to crazy. As soon as you hear one story about crazy in Florida, then along comes someone else saying, hold my orange juice. I got this. Okay, today's story absolutely gave me anxiety. And the only reason I'm sharing this story is because I want to pass some of this anxious energy on to y'all. Because if I don't tell somebody, I'm going to hold on to it in my mind, and I don't need that kind of energy on me all day. Now, if you have my new book, Shook One, Anxiety Playing Tricks on Me, which is out right now, then you know I have a chapter in there called Parental Paranoia, which documents the anxiety us parents feel when we have to let our kids venture into this crazy world on their own, okay? As a parent, sadly, it's hard not to think about all the things that can happen to your kids between school shootings, human trafficking, creepy-ass pedophilia loving adults i don't even want to talk about it because the things i want to happen in my life i think about constantly the things i don't want to happen i don't think about it all and i unpack in therapy to learn how not to have these thoughts but it's hard especially when you hear stories like this now keep in mind these two young girls are 11 and 12 they attend bartow middle school in florida and i will tell you once again they are satan worshipers two 11 and 12 year old satan worshipers from florida I can't make this kind of stuff up, people. Let's go to CNN for the report, please. A butcher knife, pizza cutter, scissors. These are some of the weapons an 11 and 12 year old brought to Bartow Middle School on Tuesday to allegedly kill classmates. They wanted to kill at least 15 people and were waiting in the bathroom for the opportunity to find smaller kids that they could overpower to be their victims. Extra officers were already on campus after another student reported concerns on Monday. But police tell us the plot was foiled only after one of the girl's mother called in when a robocall said she skipped school. Officers found them in the bathroom with a goblet on hand to reportedly drink their victim's blood. Messages appear to show the girls planned the murders and even to kill themselves when it was done. Where did they get this from? Uh, what website, what movie, what YouTube video, who planted this seed in the minds of two 11 and 12 year olds? Uh, I love to tell people don't make permanent decisions based off temporary feelings, but that don't seem heavy enough for this situation because truth be told, I don't understand this situation. <laughs> and I have gotten to the point in my life where I'm not sitting around attempting to understand crazy, okay? The only reason I'm sharing this story is because I don't want to be the only person thinking about this all day today. All right, the same anxiety and light panic attacks that I will have throughout today thinking about this, I I want y'all to suffer with me, all right? As I sit around and hope and pray that my kid isn't in school with fools like this, I want y'all to feel my same pain. The thing that is keeping me from not having a major panic attack about this story is the fact that I believe in God and I walk in faith, not fear. And even when I have the fear, I give it to God and then my therapist. And the other reason I'm not freaking out over this situation is simply because we're not in Florida. Please give these two 11 and 12 year olds from Florida the biggest hee -haw. All right. Well, thank you for that donkey of the day. Don't thank me for it, because I wish I didn't have to talk about that. Charlemagne the God here, and today's donkey of the day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamonsoft. Don't be a donkey and call my friend Michael if you've been hurt in a construction accident. 212-962-1020. That's 212-962-1020. Don't be a donkey.